RxJava is usually used by Android developers for network requests, but in this video we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to build a basic stopwatch, so where the number will just start at zero and go, and every second it'll update to one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 20, 30, 100, 200. This number is going to go up and up, so let's go ahead and get started. So you'll notice from a previous lesson in our build.gradle, we have a couple of dependencies here for RxJava and RxAndroid. So we have that in there. I'm going to close other, uh, I'm going to close that. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because we don't need it. We're not going to use it. So let's, let's create our timer. So let's, let's, I'm inside main activity. Let's do, we'll do observable. And then we want the ReactiveX version. So that right there. So click on that. That'll import it up at the top where we see, hey, you know, well, we got, I need to clear it up, but we have the Re ReactiveX observable there. So I'm going to go ahead and just close that. That just hides it because we don't really need to look at it. Let's do, I think it's interval, yeah, interval. Let's do every one of the time, uh, time unit dot sec. I've used it before, so it pop, pops up there for me. So we're creating, we're creating an observable that will interval every one second. Let's go ahead and just do our basics here. Let's do dot subscribe. Uh, let's do subscribe on. Then we'll do, I think it's schedulers dot IO. We'll just go ahead and do that. Dot observe on. And we'll do Android schedulers dot main thread. So that should give us give it to us on the main thread. Now let's do this. Let's do, uh, let's create a variable. So val observable equals. So we have our observable set up, but if we run this, it's not actually going to do anything because nobody is subscribed to it. So let's do this. Observable, then the magic word, which is subscribe. And there are a number of these. So there, we'll take one with success and error. So if an error happens, it'll happen inside of there. And if a success happens, it'll happen inside of here. So this can be, this is where our, you know, good code goes there. And if we go down to here, we can do, we just put a bunch of space, doesn't matter. We can do um, an error happened. Um, show error message to user. So there we go. So we have some basic code, and I'm going to go ahead and reformat my code, and that does that. Um, and so, so we have our good code there. So this should happen every second. So let's do this. Let's do log statements. So D, Daniel, we'll do number is uh, then we'll do dollar it's or dollar it's yeah and we need to import that so i'm going to click on there and do op alt enter and that imports it so this it number that's a special number it's coming from right there which comes from our magic word subscribe that's going to happen every single time the every single time that um every one second basically so let's go ahead and save that run it and let's go back to the emulator or go to the emulator and let's just see what happens. So not much happens, but let's open up our log cat at the bottom here. And uh, if I can get rid of the search there, but you'll see it just keeps going up and up. So I'll search for Daniel. And you can see yeah, every, I'm not doing anything. The app's just running, but you'll notice every second we get a new number there. So that's happening because this, this subscribe and the success happens every how we uh, how we provide it for it, which is every one second. So it does it. So it, it fires every one second. Um, but if you go to the app, we can actually we can actually see that. So let's 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 display it to the user. So go back to resources, uh, layouts, content main. Uh, then we're in design mode there. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to give it a text size that's really big, uh, 36. And with that still selected there, let's give it an idea. We'll call this. Um, uh, timer on, or do display timer on screen. So we have an ID there. So that means that this UI element, this layout element can be uh, referenced in Kotlin. So display timer. So let's do this. Do display timer on screen. And we, it pops up there for you. So hit enter. And then dot text equals. And then we'll do um, number dollar it's. And let's save this and let's go ahead and run it. And let's just see if this works. I think this might work. So wait for it to load. It opens up and sure enough, it works. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So every time this is going to go just up and up and up. 
So yeah, number 12, 13, it's just gonna keep going and going. And this can be every like three seconds. You can make this every five seconds. So you can do whatever whatever the interval is right for you. And if you get rid of the seconds and then do, all, do a control space bar, you can see you have a number of options here. You have days, hours, microseconds, minutes. For this, for this, it's good every second. But say we want to actually stop the timer. How can we do that? Well, let's just clean up a little bit of code here. I'll get rid of some space just to make it more clean. We don't need the debug statement anymore. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of some of that. I'm gonna shift, get rid of some of that. We don't need that. Um, and it's a good practice to put something in your error in case something goes wrong. You can, you inside of your error message, you can say, hey, you know, uh, you don't have internet or something went wrong. You can let the user know. So we have observable.subscribe. Let's do this. Let's do um, val, uh, we'll call this timer equals that. And then we have, so we have that variable timer now. So what we can do is, let's say display timer on screen dot set on click listener. So every time we click on it, we want to do timer dot dispose. Now dispose basically means stop it, get rid of it, just stop, just stop doing whatever you're doing. This can be useful for a lot of cases. Um, say you're making network requests, well, we won't, we won't get into that now, but that's, that's, this can be very helpful. And this, this should say, hey, every time you click on that, timer.dispose. The timer is that variable right there and we're gonna dispose of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there to run it in the emulator again. And let's go back to here and it starts zero, one, two. It's gonna just keep going and going. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. So ready, one, two, three, click. And I clicked on it and it stops. So that's how you can kind of say to an observable, hey, I wanna just stop it. So this timer variable dot dispose and you just do dispose on it and it stops. And we can see if you go back, yeah, it's still at seven. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.